Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, and welcome to Where's the Action? I'm your host, Ross Benjamin. I will be previewing Game 3 of the Western Conference quarterfinal series between the St. Louis Blues and the Chicago Blackhawks. The game will be on Monday evening at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois, with the opening face-off 8.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, we witnessed two epic playoff battles in the first two games of this series. Boy, if you're a Chicago Blackhawks fan, you're absolutely brokenhearted. And if you're a St. Louis Blues fan, you have to be filled with euphoria after the dramatic fashion in which your team came back to tie the game late in both third periods of regulation time and then won both games in overtime. Let's review real quickly in game one of this series. Chicago took a 3-2 lead at the end of the first period and this that score stayed the same until less than two minutes to go in regulation time when the Blues tied the game and then St. Louis proceeded to win the game in the third overtime session. Then in game two, the Blackhawks stormed back from a 2-0 deficit late in the second period, making a score 2-1 to one by the end of the second period and then scoring two unanswered goals to start the third period and take a 3-2 to two lead into the last minute of regulation time. And then lo and behold, the Blues tied the game with just 6.4 seconds to go in regulation time and then proceeded to win the game seven minutes into the extra session. What a couple of huge wins for the St. Louis Blues and you'd be hard pressed to find back-to-back -back wins in St. Louis Blues franchise playoff history any bigger than the ones that we just witnessed. Well, the good news for Chicago is they go back home where they've been very good over the last two years with a chance to even the series. The St. Louis Blues good news is the fact that not only have they won the first two games, but their goaltender Ryan Miller, after a shaky first period in the opening game of the series that saw him relinquish three goals, has been outstanding since. He's allowed just three goals in more than eight periods of hockey. So again, a lot to be taken from from those two St. Louis wins. And Ryan Miller, who was acquired late in the regular season and was expected to be a major difference from St. Louis, has paid dividends thus far. As far as my selection goes in this game, anytime you have a money line road underdog of plus 100 to plus 150, and that road underdog has a 0.3 or better goal per game differential on the season, and that road underdog has also allowed three goals or more in each of their last three games. By playing against the road underdog in this situation, you would be 29 and 5, 85.6% since the beginning of the 2009 2010 season. We're going to take the Chicago Blackhawks minus the 165 over St. Louis. Now, folks, you know I don't like to lay that much juice, so if you're playing to win 100, I would just risk 100 on Chicago because of the size of the favorite they are at playoff time. I don't let things like this get in the way. I just adjust my money management, and I would advise you do the same. Again, Chicago minus 165 over St. Louis. My name is Ross Benjamin. You've been watching Where's the Action. Happy Easter, and thank you for joining me.